Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between T1 and Cloud9 during day 4 of the world's 2023 Swiss stage. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Journey to put that pressure on does uh, commit the flash this time around, doesn't find a ton of success, but they are really just trying to tax C9 everywhere, knowing Blabber was topside, knowing he was pushed out there. He's forced to flash and fudge. Now level six is up. Uh -oh. oh, he's taken way too much damage from that equalizer already. He's going to go straight into the death chamber. First blood given over to owner. Six, he can just move in and alt MS. If MS ever moves past the halfway point, so not only do they get the top kill, they get the mid summoner spell flash that they needed, which lets them move to this Drake. Yeah. Well, so I was going to say, when I mean, you use that at that timing to grab Flash, then, you know, this is before 6, but owner can use his Flag and Drag to threaten that with Faker stealing the Shockwave, and now you've grabbed Dragon Control, and I mean, this is just T1's map to rule right now. All right, Berserker, trying to take an aggressive trade here. He's level 5 against Goomba's level 5. Push the wave, recall, and now be on the way to Rift Herald, which wouldn't give C9 time to kill it. 2v2 at the top side, the Equalizer getting some big value, and now Owner is going to join up with this one, as they do want to extend this play, but not sure if they want to overextend as Sven has come on in. And the Black and Drag goes in out to the Recon, as Owner just doesn't give a damn. He has Carrier behind him, gets him in the death chamber, oh, as the ultimate man. comes out, and everybody is going down on the side of C9 in the top lane, T1 just burning them to a crisp in the top lane. Well, that'll be four kills for T1 now in this early game, an over 2,500 gold lead, and it was off the play. But now you're looking at a rumble with five Dark Seal stacks. This, of course, does give the Herald yeah. over as well. What a dream isn't currently ahead. That's also the one lane that wasn't naturally winning early, so wouldn't shock me if they just use this bot pressure, push people back in the river and look for a fight or drop the Herald mid. While they're over the wall, they're looking for Sven as he is going to get dunked on, and he's got one hope, his ultimate ability, but that's not going to do enough as he was alone. 1v4, as T1 come over the wall, you know, over the wall and throwing cues at Berserker and Berserker juking them. There was never like a counterplay that C9 would be able to make. Uh oh, Fudge in a lot of, of trouble. He flashes onto the other side of the equalizer as Zeus just tanking this one up. Fudge is still alive underneath this turn. He's just going to get flagged from the heavens as owner going to pick up his fourth kill in this game. And here's another example. They spent so long on that dive top, so there's three people for C9 bottom trying to defend with it. I don't think they're going to be able to get much. Meanwhile, Berserker can't defend this turret by himself. This a cannon wave so get the top side play to be a success unfortunately fudge's flash not good enough to get away from that now things faker does 2013 always these amazing <laughs> mechanical outplays things faker does has changed a lot in the last 11 years now the thing faker does is get a bunch of really mechanically talented players around him hold his own in mid lane and press his f keys yeah. really good and talk he's been pressing his keys pretty well owner once again i maybe it's showboating i'm not sure owner in a little bit of trouble as he does have some help from his squad but he is going to be able to get away blabber gets hooked by the feathers and now there's a massive equalizer on the entirety of c1 just trying to c9 rather trying to retreat out of this one that's a huge play comes out from oh. Garia, and they turn this one around and even the tower can't get into this one as Curia will disable that this might just be clean ace going into the hands of t1 and that it is nobody will fall on the side of t1 an insane win here for t1 but we all set up by zayas we'll watch this play again as owner takes all of the aggression here as they kite back through missed extendo beam here from berserker look at the equalizer positioning as it goes through this brush it is just so clean and no one on c9 can avoid this equalizer damage yeah. except sven he's only get over the wall you can't flash out you're on a fat wall and now you're trapped between this this wall here and carry a three engage he goes through with the magical journey sets up the stun disables the turret so they can further deep dive here and you are just not gonna get out if you are cloud nine you are just trapped between lopsided games we have seen all Swiss stage. And we've we've seen some big ones too. Yeah, we have. We've had a That's couple a of 24-minute uh, games as well. And, uh, you know, Wolf was talking about it before. We're on pace for a perfect game. That's just going to be Berserker dead for free. There's just no help under the turret. He has flash, but no time to react. And T1 are just taking whatever they want on the Come He's on C9. three, four, five people just down get the to the turret. bottom side of the map. And yes, they will get this objective Woo! bounty. Not a perfect game, chat. <laughs> Not a perfect game, but it's a perfect Baron. Nobody is going to contest them on that one. 
as we saw the win probability once. Safe, they will of course sync up the waves. They're gonna put Faker in the bottom lane here and Blabber. Hey, he got the blue buff. Yeah. You well, know what? At what cost? That's pretty, that's pretty good. He got the buff. Oh no, he's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's, he's being chased down here by owner. I think that carry is just gonna let him do the 1v1 thing and there he goes, dunks into the ground. I say this now Faker is just doing a dance in the enemy base at this point in time, picks up the quickness and uh, just kind of shoves it in their face as T1, you know, they're on pace to try to break one of the fastest games that we have had here in the Swiss stage. The turret of the Nexus are already going down C9. They're gonna have to make one last stand and they get the knock up here on Azeus who loses a total of zero health at this point in time as the Bard ultimate comes out as well. The carry is having a lot of fun at this point. Fudge is in that back line, but he's just gonna be ripped to shreds by the Feathers once again. As C1 will play with their food, they will get what they deserve after this victory. As down will go the Nexus, T1 will move on to two and one in the Swiss stage. Really dominant showing. These were some of the T1. best highlights this from the world's 2023 the Swiss stage matchup between T1 and Cloud9. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.